everyone, and thanks so much for joining us for a very special edition of News 2 Midday. Josh, we're on the road here live at Charleston Place Hotel celebrating Siwi. And Hannah, I've been down here since about 4.30 <laughs> this morning, and uh, we were here last night at the yeah. gala uh, and now the first full day of the wildlife expo is in full swing and we've got team coverage all across the charleston peninsula we've got riley benson and rob fowler at brittle bank park we have jordan live at the peninsula where they're having a special invite only event and then we also have walker he's at marion square so we're making sure that you get a behind the scenes look on the first official day of sea we have everything to look forward to everything is covered especially <laughs> our outdoor events we've got the two big big locations for that brittle bank and marion square marion square where walker is that's that's the area where it, the public can just walk through. Anybody can come through and see those exhibits there. Brittle Bank, of course, is ticketed. Their highlight, dock dogs. That's what everybody goes to Brittle Bank for. And Josh and I are here at Charleston Place, which is really the epicenter of Siwi. And of course, we're right next door to where the art galleries right. are. And speaking of art, Josh, we had a great time last night. It was the kickoff, the gala, and of course, the big art auction. That's right. And uh, speaking of the big art auction, <laughs> Kathleen Dunphy is here with us the featured artist for yes. this year. Kathleen, it is so good to see you. Good yes. morning. Yes, Kathleen, thanks for being here. Oh, it's wonderful to be here. Okay, tell us about the auction last night because you created this signature piece of artwork that is used in all sorts of promotional materials for Seaweed this year, and you got to watch it be auctioned <laughs> off live. What was that like? Um, well, let's just say a little nerve-wracking, but it was really exciting. Uh, it was The event last night was just... I, I can't even describe it. It was just so exciting with so many people and so much activity and so much energy. And once the auctioneer started off, it, things just started flying. So it was really great. Can you tell us a little bit about the piece that was sold last night and also just what inspires you and what your style looks like? Well, I'm inspired by, by nature in general in all of my work and in light. Um, so m most of my paintings have really extreme light, like backlighting or you know, early in the morning, late in the evening kind of light. And I love animals. I, we live in an area in Northern California that's very rural up in the mountains and uh, Canada geese fly by every day. And those particular geese were at a lake near where I live. And I saw them going by and I knew that they needed to get painted. <laughs> um, so I sketched and I took photographs and um, worked on designs from that and um, eventually ended up making that painting. So all the way here from the West Coast, how are you enjoying Charleston? Oh my gosh, it's such a beautiful place. I just wish there were two of me. So one of me could stay here and the other one could go out and look at Charleston and see all the other events. <laughs> and speaking of being here, what's, what's it like to feel like it, that you be surrounded by so many of the artists that are interested in what you do as well? Because yeah. you know, this is a very niche kind of thing for your profession. It is, you know, it's such, I think participating in Siwi in any aspect is just a huge honor. And then to be the featured artist is, you know, above and beyond all of that. But the greatest thing about Siwi is the camaraderie, um, both between the people who work at Siwi and the other artists. Um, art is a really solitary profession, and when we get a chance to be around other artists, you know, it's kind of like we're, we're with our people, finally. Um, so all of us are running up to talk to each other and see what's been going on over the years since we haven't seen each other, and that just brings such a, a great feel to this whole event. Amazing. Kathleen, Kathleen, we appreciate you. you being yes. here so much with us. And congratulations. congratulations. Well, thank you, Hannah. And That's we'll be really seeing nice. you around over the next yeah. few days here at the Charleston yeah. Place Hotel. Okay, thank We're going to move over to Brittle Bank Park now. We've got exactly. Riley and Rob with us this morning out there. Hey, guys. I know there are horses out there, too. Oh, horses out there. <laughs> Hey, Josh, you know, obviously we're having a lot of fun here we at are. Brittle Bank Park. This is where you're going to find your dock dog competition, a lot of live animal demonstrations. Rob, this place already happening already this morning. Well, we've already had many demonstrations yeah. behind us, but I think uh, most importantly how great the weather is. Of yeah, course, as a meteorologist, you got to talk about the weather. Last year, in favor, right? the winds were like 40 miles an hour blowing us around, but not so today. And, no. and we're going to have a great time here at Brittle Bank Park. We're off and running the crowds. As soon as they opened the gates, Riley, they were pouring in. For good reason. Obviously, it's a great event. And we've got so many guests lined up. And I want to introduce Tom Smith from Wild Rose Kennels in Wild Rose, Mississippi. So uh, welcome to Charleston again. I know you've been here before, Tom. Yes, sir. Thank you for having us again. Uh, we love coming down here with Purina Pro Plan, showing off our dogs, meeting new people. And, and it's just such a great event. We love it coming down here. I know you've got a special guest uh, laying down now, but yeah. this uh, who do we have as our special guest? That is Danny. Danny's one of our stud dogs. He's an import from the U.K. He's, about, he's going to be six years old in about two months. Hey, Tom, talk to us about what Wild Rose Way is. I mean, what do you guys do and, and what we'll see here? The Wild Rose Way, we feel if we breed the right genetics, bring out the natural ability of the dog, 
apply controls and train the owner, we're going to have a classic gentleman's gun dog. And this is a special dog. Danny actually had puppies, and you say one of the puppies went to somebody. If you're an SEC football fan, you know exactly who that person is. Hotty toddy. <laughs> uh, Danny has one of his pups, uh, belongs to Lane Kiffin, the coach of Ole Miss Rebels, and he is the unofficial mascot of the football team. So we'll see him run around the field maybe uh, before the game, after the game? So he's on the sidelines okay. for the, about the first quarter, first half, and – you may see him pick up the kickoff to you one, once or twice. I'll be looking for Danny or Danny's puppy. How about that? Absolutely. All right, Tom. Well, thank you so much for joining us here at Brittle Bank Park. Certainly a lot more fun to come throughout the weekend, right? Absolutely. Thank you, everybody. Okay, heading over to Walker Simmons. Walker, you got a lot going on where you are as well. Hey, Rob Riley. Well, we've been already seeing some live demonstrations happening here at Marion Square. We just saw a bird of prey demonstration. And joining me now is Lauren or Laura Moretz with Prina Pro Plan. And Laura, who is joining us also today? Uh, this is Miss Punky Brewster. She's a nine-year-old mixed breed. She's part of the Purina Pro Plan performance team. And we're going to be performing here at Marion Square today, Saturday and Sunday at 1 and 4.30. All right. Amazing. So Punky has got a lot in store for us later today. Can we get a little sneak peek of what that'll look like? Absolutely. Oh, she's already ready. Wow. There we go. And this dog, almost 10 years old, so much energy to this morning. Wow. This is incredible. Oh my goodness. She has been locked in on these Frisbees all morning. <laughs> just a warm-up just getting ready for everything in store later today oh my goodness that's amazing punky 10 out of 10 nice job well jordan you're now right now at the peninsula on king street that's an invite only event what's happening over there Yeah, Walker, here at the Peninsula of Charleston at their sales gallery. Um, we'll have more on the Peninsula of Charleston, but first I want to tell you about a special invite-only event they are holding right now. The guests are beginning to arrive. They're going to watch a special presentation by Bill Steiner. He's an ecologist, an expert bird watcher, but what he's here to do today is give that presentation on his private collection of Audubon prints. So I'm going to have Bill join me right now. Hello. Good morning, Bill. Hello. All right, so you have a presentation coming up. Tell me what the guests are going to expect today. Okay, we're going to show them some of the original prints that were made by Audubon in England in the 1820s and 30s. And then I'm going to talk about Audubon's connection to Charleston. He spent two winters here, he collected a lot of birds here, he painted a lot of birds here, and his two sons married two girls from Charleston. Very cool. So you have one of those prints right behind us. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about the one that we are looking at right now. What we have here is a restrike that was made in Boston around 2002 from one of Audubon's original copper plates. And what we have here is that same image that was actually made in England in 1837. And it's that same process made by the same plate, only this one was hand colored. And this is American bitter and you can find it in the swamps around here. It's a neat bird. Very good. Well, thank you so much. I know your presentation is getting ready to start in a few minutes. We will have more from the Peninsula of Charleston coming up later in the show, but for now we're going to send it back to Hannah and Josh. Jordan, thank you. Some beautiful artwork and, of course, so fun to see all the dogs out there as well. It really is. And we've got a lot more coming up here from our special coverage at the Charleston Place and all across downtown Charleston. Up next, we're going to be talking to a brand new Seawee artist this year who is finding success at the age of 19 years Impressive. old. Stay with us. You're watching News right 2 Midday.